squat depth. It's for hypertrophy, the ass to grass deep squat. Go ahead, Alejandra. Just go as deep as you can go in control. That is cer certainly the ideal range of motion because you want to maximize the stretch and the involved muscles. Now, what if the goal is to maximize performance in regards to running speed and jump height? Maximize transfer to something outside the gym. Well, full range of motion squats are certainly beneficial. The question is, are they more beneficial than partial range of motion squats? Or are quarter squats a waste of time? Because a lot of people say, oh, it's a half repper, that's a partial repper. Research actually shows that when compared to full range of motion squats, quarter squats, so go ahead and demonstrate a partial range squat, right? Like something like this, actually have a higher transfer to sports performance. The research is in my article. Look it up if you don't believe me, check my references. So again, full range of motion squats will absolutely make your legs stronger, will absolutely help you jump higher, run faster. But when compared, and I'm gonna explain why, when compared to quarter squats, if you had one to do, quarter squats are superior when it comes to transferring to sports performance. Now the question would be is why? Here's why. This is some basic mechanics here that a lot of people ignore. So there's ports of a range of motion where we all have more, uh, we have a longer lever arm and a shorter lever arm, or more of a mechanical advantage over the load that we're moving, or less of a mechanical advantage. So you're only strongest, you're only as strong as your weakest point in the range of motion. So as you go lower, once her thigh or once her hips, about right there, once her hips are as far away from her knees, she has a longer lever arm to overcome. Good, that's gonna be the hardest part of the range of motion. So actually this weight is limited, let's say she's doing a 5RM. This weight is limited, it's really a 5RM in that range of motion. So she's technically not maximizing her strength from the top portions of the range of motion. And some research has shown people are close to 40, 45% stronger in the top part of the range of motion than they are at the bottom. So you're techni technically not developing full range of motion strength if you're only doing one type of weight based on the deep squat, which is why we have some research that showed that splitting up your reps and doing a few sets with a maximal weight at the bottom and a few sets with a heavier weight that's a 5RM or a 3RM with quarter squats actually helped transfer better to uh, sports performance. So that's why quarter squats can be superior for sports performance and which is why they're not a waste of time. Takeaway here is don't stop doing your full range of motion squats. Go ahead and do some of your full range of motion squats. Again, I'm not saying they're bad. I'm sure you know some coach that says that they cured you know, leprosy or something. Great, I'm not saying don't listen to other coaches that say things. I'm looking at the research here. But based on mechanics, good, now we'll go to quarter squats. Based on mechanics, based on physics, none of this is arguable. And range of motion, lever arm, things like that. And based on the research, doing some quarter squats is not just a, it's not a waste of time at all. That's wrong. In fact, it can be beneficial but you have to use a heavier weight relative to your strength because you're going to be relatively stronger in shorter ranges of motion. The combination of the two in my book is the winning combination, some partial, some full range of motion.